Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for August 6th. So, let's get started. First day in history! On this day in history, August 6th, 1787, the Constitutional Convention meeting in Philadelphia began to debate an early version of the U.S. Constitution. Also on this day in 1920, Gertrude Ederly of New York became the first American woman to swim the English Channel. She was 19 when she swam the channel from France to England. Her time was 14 hours, 39 minutes for the 35 mile or 56 kilometer distance. And on this day in 1965, President Lyndon Baines Johnson signed the Voting Rights Act. The act outlawed the discriminatory voting practices adopted in many Southern states after the Civil War. The law had an immediate impact. By the end of 1965, a quarter of a million new African-American voters had been registered. By the end of 1966, only four out of the 13 Southern states had fewer than 50% of African-Americans registered to vote. Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the phrase seventh heaven. If you say, I'm in seventh heaven, it means that you're extremely happy and content. The idea of seventh heaven can be found in both Islamic and Jewish religions. Seventh heaven is thought to be the highest heaven where only the most pure souls go after death. Today on Extremes, we ask, what is the loudest animal on the planet? The answer is a tie between blue whales and fin whales. Are you surprised? Well, these marine animals communicate with one another in low frequency pulses. Their sounds can be heard 530 miles away, which is 853 kilometers. And they've been measured to be 188 decibels on the decibel scale. Now, to get an idea of how loud that is, a jet airplane is 130 decibels, and a shotgun blaster firecracker is 140 decibels. That is one whale of a noise. Health tips. <laughs> if you're faced with a situation in school where there's a bully, try using a buddy system. Make sure you have someone with you so that you're not alone with the bully. Buddy up with a friend on the bus, in the hallways, or at recess, wherever the bully is, and offer to do the same for a friend. Today on Earth Alert, we're going to talk about fun ways to reuse paper. After you've used a piece of paper for homework or a drawing project, you could turn it into paper mache. To make paper mache, you first have to make the paste. So get out a big bowl and add one cup of flour and two cups of water. Mix them together until they make a sticky glue. Oh, by the way, you probably ought to put newspaper down on the floor so you don't make a mess. Once you have the paste, rip your old paper into strips. Dip the strips of paper one at a time into the paste, and then they're ready to be formed into a paper mache sculpture. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>